Yeah, I'm terrible at Apex Legends. I'm not afraid to admit that. You know, I, I, I've been getting a lot of people telling me that that Apex Legends is actually a little bit better. Yeah, it in is certain in, in, in certain ways. Yeah, oh, absolutely, without a doubt. In terms of like matchmaking too, like I don't yeah. want to have to play against somebody on an actual PC. You know what I'm saying? Like well, with, every match I go into. Well, with crossplay enabled, you'll actually get a match in. But then again, you'll see some of the most hardcore sweats, like the people that. Yeah, the new, I know. The new meta is just burst rifles. So exactly. That's... There's times when I just wanna, I just wanna fucking, you know, <coughs> I, I just wanna do uh, uh, contracts and whatnot, you know. And the only way to do contracts is to go into actual war zone. So like, there's times when I just wanna do that, and I'll see all these fucking sweats in there, man. It's like and there's a lot too. There's a lot of people like it's that. Like, what the people. hell? They just laser you, and it's just, like, ridiculous. But Ubisoft uh, apparently came out with a, with, with a competitor. X Defiant. X Defiant, I'm gonna yeah. Try, I'm going to try that. Tonight. I am going to try that. Hey, bro, I was thinking about trying it tonight, too. Yeah, if you want to do it, then go for it. Because I got Ubisoft Plus, so I could easily just, you know, run it on on, uh, on NVIDIA. Yeah, man, run I it. I could easily run it on NVIDIA. But I haven't yet, but uh, it came out, like, two days ago, I think. They need a winner after Skull and Bones, you know, Skull and Bones. Oh my fucking god, bro. I tried Skull and Bones. Disappointed. I yeah. did not like it. I didn't even, like, I, I wasn't even pushing to play even, any more of it. I just... That's the thing, that's the thing, though. When you, when you know, when they come out with a game, it's supposed to, like, really stick with you for at least five years before yeah. something new comes up. The, and, yeah, with, they're and, in... and with, uh, you, you, have you tried out the new, uh, Tom Clancy Ghost, uh, uh, Wild, wait, what is it? Not wild, not wildlife. Uh, the the newest Tom Clancy game that that recently came out. Extraction. No, no, no. Extraction was decent. It was an. It was a. De it was. I'd say it was a. It, it's it's all right in terms of like comparing it to uh, Ghost Recon. Mm -hmm. Or uh, Ghost Recon or uh, Tom Clancy uh, Siege. You know, mm -hmm. I, it's a, it's a bump up from Siege. I can tell you that one. Siege has, I quit that. I quit that game like like three three weeks after starting playing it. Yeah, Jinxie brought it back to relevance, really, because it's basically a dead game, and then he just made it, you know, more popular. Well, I, I can tell you that Xbox still has it, you know, in their uh, day one playlist. Day one ish. No. Yeah, day one ish playlist. So I yeah. mean, like. But I, I don't even want to go in there, bro. Like the first, my first time playing it, right? Uh, I did okay, but but then I get all these shit talkers. Oh yeah, who's People. been playing? They've been playing this since like the day it came out and shit. You know, it's like, bro, like, like chill the fuck out. I, I'm just trying it, you know. I'm a first person shooter type of guy, you know. I'm just trying it, you know. Clearly, you could see that, like, this is my first time playing it, you know. Mm -hmm. Like not even I'm ruth that ruthless to noobs, you know. Yeah, while we're uh, while we're while we're on the topic of haters, there's a lot of hate and ass bitches, and I just kind of wanted to defend my tier list. I don't feel like I should, because honestly, this is just my opinions. I gave Ubisoft an A, and he's like, "It's a joke with fucking tier list." Yeah, yeah, he I, came I, at me sideways. And I'm was, a little disappointed with Ubisoft's you know games lately. Yeah, they've taken L's, but you know. Yeah. I mean, they 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 were doing they were they were the. They were probably like the best in the video game industry with the Assassin's Creed franchise. Yeah, and they were going, were going head to head, basically neck and neck. It was, it was Skyrim, or it was, uh, it was Skyrim, or if it was AC. One of, yeah, one of, the, yeah, but. Uh, and then Unity. Yeah, was, they. Yeah, yeah, that was a huge drop off. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone, everyone is not liking the <laughs> the the newer Assassin's Creed games. I really don't. Do you see that uh, video I sent you? The it was a YouTube short. Where they were talking about the new Assassin's Creed, uh, the guy was talking about the new Assassin's Creed movie my or bad. game. My, I mean, my bad, I didn't watch it. Didn't so the guy it. basically he kind of spoke a little truth about it, you know. He was kind of acting, you know, doing a little role play with it. Yeah. But he was like, he you know, like one part of him was like acting at like Ubisoft's, you know, uh, marketing team, you know, like uh, let's create a game here. You know what? Uh, I, I'm gonna send it to you again. Or uh, if you get the chance, uh, look at it. But he spoke yeah, some truth in it, and like I'll, I was like, you know what? That does sound like what Ubisoft's I'll, trying to do right now. I'll take a look at it after the show. Like, like they're trying to recover from their big ass losses, you know? With uh, uh, well, with X Defiant, that's basically like that's gonna be the turnaround. I think. Mm -hmm. I think X Defiant's gonna be a turnaround. I'm gonna try it tonight, and I'm gonna see. 
it's either that or you know you might as well go back to playing siege i guess we're gonna figure that out eventually when we get no to i tonight. i'm never i'm never playing siege again bro it's too it's too sweaty yeah it's too sweaty it's the it's one of the most <laughs> Dude, it's, I'd say I'd even go down to say it's even more sweatier than what I've seen in Warzone so far. It's a thinking man's game. Is that fair to say? Siege is a thinking man's game because you have to basically, you know, when when people are making five steps, you got to check them in two, you know. So it's yeah, probably. yeah. It's really, it's really, it's complicated. You have right? to know, you have to know the 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 uh, the classes and whatnot. Yeah. You know, you have to know how to use them or whatnot. I, I get, I get that. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can't just choose any random character, you know, and expect you know, to even get a kill in there, apparently, you know? You, yeah. Like, you have to, you have to, like, it, it actually shows you what the, uh, what classes the other team picks and your own team picks, you know? Like, you, you have to, yeah, you're right, it is a thinking man's game. Yeah, it is a thinking man's game, it's fair to say. Because, I mean, they, they did the whole Battle Royale experience before, didn't they? Because they did, they did Hyperscape, and they dropped support of that very easily. Wait, wait, wait. Ubisoft has another Battle Royale game? Yeah, they had Hyperscape. I've never heard of that one. Oh, I played it. I, I don't know if I played it on stream, but I played it. What system was it for? It was, it was for, you know, you know, is this 7th or 8th gen? I lose track. PlayStation 4, Xbox One days. This was days. a legit Battle Royale game. It's a legit Battle Royale game, yeah, Hyperscape. Huh, yeah, I mean, because I, I, I'm I'm actually really into the battle royale, you know, scene. I am too. Like, like I actually, actually, I feel like that when they when they first came out with battle royale, which that shit follows back all the way to PUBG, right? PUBG, yes. Yeah, PUBG. like like that was one of the first battle royale games, and I was really heavy into it, you know. Yeah, that was. Uh, like, I, like they need to. What they need to do is they need to come out with a, a with, with another uh, PUBG game, like a remake, or you know, like like a like a I don't know something with that because everyone I didn't see anybody hating on it. I'm gonna grind and get that platinum trophy for Fortnite. <laughs> Fortnite, man. See, my own, I, my only issue. It, it feels like everything is great about it. My only issue is when you like it requires money for a lot of things. It's not a pay to win. I don't mean pay to win. I mean what? I think she's calling you. Yeah, babe. Okay. okay. All right. I don't mean play to win. I mean like, like my biggest thing is like I create a new account and I'm a female and there's no way to fucking change it and I, it's a pet peeve. It's it. It seems like something that's so small. I know. So so what skins do you own exactly? None. Oh, none. Well, that, none. that's the issue, yeah. I have to buy the Battle Pass in order to get any skins. Well, next month you should probably go in with me because I'm going to buy a Battle Pass myself. I'm going to... I just feel like that if it's not something that I... Like, okay, I bought I bought the Battle Pass for Warzone. Definitely, okay. I bought the Battle Pass for Warzone, and I've already pre-registered for the Battle Pass for Warzone. That's, that's coming out at the end of this month. By the way, a huge thank you to my mother because not only did she buy this pizza, but she... She gave me 20 bucks and that got me out of the hole. I was at like negative four dollars and she, you know, canceled it out. And then I had 15 to spare with that 20, so I used it to. Oh, I hate being negative in my balance. Yeah, I hate that, dude. I hate that I owe. You know, I really hate that. I really Especially do. when you owe a bank. You know, when you owe a bank, it's worse than when you owe, like, you know, like a loan company or something like that. That's, feel. that's like selling your soul to the devil, no? Yeah, because like, a, a, like, like I've gotten loans, I've gotten you know, I've gotten an auto loan, and I've got and I've gotten bank accounts. Yeah. And you realize that when you when you owe a bank, that shit weighs heavier on you than than anything else because a credit score can easily be repaired, but when you lose that trust with the bank, you can never go back to them. They will never let you go back to them. So, Jesse, an old friend uh, and proud supporter of our of our show, he uh, congratulations for winning at the casino. He won like he won like a uh, he won like a rent like a jeep. Oh, for real? Yeah, it's worth like thirty five k, and you know he can't afford the taxes, so he just took the cash and lumps them. So. Oh damn! Oh, well, that's smart. Yeah, congratulations, Jesse. You made it. You made it big. You won big. Are you Jesse, the guy who's living. Different Jesse. Oh. Jesse Silva. Oh. Yeah. Well, I mean that's smart. If you if you I mean insurance is a bitch with cars. Yeah, insurance. Well, that was thank you. Yeah, dude, you could imagine people have been drowning legal fees. Yeah. Where websites and companies have shut down. 
You know what I wonder? Because if it's legal for, for an auto finance company, right? Like the like the people that give you the loan for the car. Yeah. I wonder if it's even legal for them to like still be pursuing your credit score or whatnot. Or like still be trying to pursue a debt when they've already repoed the car. Yeah, they repossess it and then they charge you that after the fact. Yeah, I wonder if that's I wonder if that's even I feel like legal. I feel like it's I feel like it's more expensive to drag it out in court than it is for anything else because definitely that's when you know when you lose big time. Yeah, but really when you when they repo the car, doesn't that mean that you no longer possess it? So you no longer should be liable for for whatever it is that they're trying to collect from you. That's I'm still, just, that's, I'm still gonna, that's still going to affect your score. Yeah, well, I know it's going to affect your score, yeah. but can they still be actually trying to collect? Because, way, I mean, you don't owe way, anything, right? But in a way, you're still collecting. You still owe, and you're still, you know, got that thing on your card. Hypothetically speaking, I don't, I'm not really... Yeah, I know. It's, not, something, it's something to talk to a lawyer with. I'm not, uh, not full-blown in the credit score game, so I'm not really an analyst. I can't really pinpoint that, but what I'm saying is, you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's a lot harder than it looks, man. I don't know if this is Parmesan cheese or rice, but this stuff's bad, actually. Hey, but you know what? Huh. Uh, shout out to Activision as well for their for their latest uh, uh, update in Warzone. Oh, good lord. No, for real. For real. They actually finally did something right. Finally, you guys do something right. And that's with the matchmaking. You know, I'm no longer being teamed up with noobs or whatnot. If they can't find anybody of my skill level, they put me in a lobby alone. With other lobbies that are also alone. So... Finally, that was that's a huge patch update that needed to be fixed. Because honestly, I, I I am sick of being teamed up with people that that are not in my skill range. What they would usually do is that they would, you know, they would take accounts that are hacking or using codes or whatever in Marvel vs. Capcom three, and then relegate them to their own servers. Oh, for real? Yeah. So cheaters, you know, never profit. See, they're not. They're, they're, they have. They haven't done anything huge like that. Okay. <laughs> because I, trust a, me, I'm still seeing hackers. It's a step in the right direction, is what it is. Yeah. It is. It, it is a step in the right direction. It shows that they are actually, you know, trying to do something. Because there's a lot of talk that, you know, uh, Activision and fucking uh, what's what's their security? Uh, co what's the security company? Uh, Tri uh, Treyarch. Treyarch. You know, Treyarch. Yeah. You know, there's there's. Just, there's a lot of talk where, like, they just don't give a fuck anymore that, that they're just, you know... Basically, it's, Call of Duty 6 is going to be... Or, I mean, uh, Black, Ops Black Ops 6 is probably going to be the last one. Most likely, There's yeah. talk that, that Black Ops 6, th after that, there's not going to be a single Call of Duty uh, name coming out anymore. But should there be, though, is what I'm saying? I don't think there should be. Yeah, I of think course that, not, no. I think that they need to <laughs> give, give it a rest to let other fucking companies, you know, uh, uh, other, other developers... Have their shine. Like, yeah, like, it's because those... of Call of Duty. It's because of uh, Activision that that let, Ubisoft let... is lagging. You know. Yeah, let those devs do their own things. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, because that's what happened before. You know, because Tony Hawk had gotten so successful that was basically Activision was like, okay, well, we need more of that. So and they started doing but do you that really, again. That... You know, but do you really need more of that? You don't you know? need all that. No, it's the same. Like, people the... love it. As people it's... like it as it is. Yeah, it's the Leave same... it alone. It's you the know? same thing with the guitar with Guitar Hero. It's like the demand to constantly put those out, dude. I think didn't they, especially with all the extra, you know, they put out extra like, shit that's required. Didn't they put out like didn't they put out like five games in the span of like one or two years? Man, because there's band hero, DJ hero, rock band, guitar I, hero, everything. Like. I remember that. I, I I remember that there were so many of those games well, that eventually people just started getting sick of having to buy the extra, you know, oversaturating the market. And stuff. Exactly. Yeah, you know, it became more of a money mongering yeah, business than than anything else. Yeah. I mean, I like 2K24 the way it is, you know. It's actually not that bad of a game. Is that basketball? No, it's a pro wrestling. It's a pro wrestling game. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm thinking of TK. Of 2K. Because there's also NBA 2K as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. See, I'm comfortable with that. I mean. But that's an EA, uh, that's an EA label. Yeah. All the sports. And come on, let's talk. Can we talk about EA real fast? Yeah, electronic. When are they gonna stuff? come out with a newer with a newer uh, shooting game? A new shooting game. A new shooting game. Okay, I have respect that they're that the with the fact that they're that, that they're integrating with Star Wars more than ever with the with the following up with uh uh. They need to put a PlayStation Five upgrade so I can grind it out. Wait, they don't have any PlayStation Five games? No, it's a PlayStation Four game. Battlefront Two itself is still a yeah, PlayStation, PlayStation Four. Game. 4. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit! It's not PlayStation Five compatible. Well, it's. 
it needs to be upgraded is what I'm saying. Well, I upgrade. don't think you're going to get an upgrade with, Blade, with Battlefront 2 because yeah. not EA dropped it. EA just completely dropped it and DICE picked it up and DICE, you, you know how DICE is, bro. Yeah. DICE, yeah, they're, they're, gonna, they're never going to do anything that they don't feel like they have to do. Like, for instance, the biggest problem with Battlefront 2 and pretty much the only problem with Battlefront well, it's 2. too bright. Sorry, I'm EQing this. The brightness settings isn't doing Probably the only problem that anyone has with Battlefront 2 is is the cross platform compatibility. Cross play? Yeah, cross play. Meaning me, meaning your opponents could be playing on PC and you could be playing on a fucking uh the the first gen Xbox One, you know? Yeah. You know, the reason why I gave Rockstar Games an S tier and, and like video game company tier list that we were doing back when it was uh it was easy and myself that were doing it. And uh, the fact that Grand Theft Auto V alone has been carrying that company for I don't know almost fifteen years. Mm -hmm. Like I said, that, <laughs> that needs to be that needs to be studied. And you know, I feel like all the other developers and video game companies should take notes that if you're able to make a game to get that much that much life out of it. You know what I feel like they need to, they need to do? They need to make a battle royale game where it's not guns or anything like that. It's swords, knives, even bows and arrows. You know, like a battle royale game like that. You know. Get up close and personal. Keep the blood and everything, but uh, and and stop with the silly power up packages and shit. You know, yeah. Make something like medieval. You know, type uh, type of uh, type of deal. You know, like like a Lord of the Rings battle royale. You know, you could choose between a hobbit or a fucking elf or a human. You know, I'm, something I'm, like that. You I'm know? glad you brought that up because multiverses comes out in three days. No. I've been I, I've been hearing a lot about that with yeah. this shit. And it's got Jason Voorhees, Agent Smith have been has been confirmed. I mean, you can still play a local. Heck, we can get in a match if we wanted to. Now, explain explain more about it because I've only seen like little you know ads about it. So you're familiar with how Super Smash Brothers works? Yes. And how Masahiro Sakurai son, he's the one who you know different characters from different platforms or yeah. different games. You know, different, fighting different properties, but Warner Brothers. Okay, so kind of that includes Batman, Superman. So are we Wonder talking Woman? something like Brawlhalla? Brawlhalla is completely different. I know, but they brought they Brawlhalla uses different characters, you know, and they brawl. Like I said, Warner Brothers companies. I mean, you got you've got Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Bugs Bunny. It, now, what kind of what kind of gameplay are we looking at? We're talking like Smash Bros. Yeah, online Smash Bros. Yeah. Select your character from the multiverse, and yeah. you could you could brawl. Yeah, just we like could, that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that does seem very enjoyable. That's very interesting. And you right can now, use any character basically. Cause yeah, I cause heard Jason Voorhees. They're all unlocked for the most part. Yeah, I what think. What the fuck? I think I participated in the beta, so I think I unlocked Jason. But oh shit! Yeah, for yeah. Real? so yeah, 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 for real. Like we can get like a local play match in if we want to. Yeah, that's you know. We could, Definitely test that out. Test that out because it's basically the same thing, but the mechanics are so fluid. It's got like really dope voice acting and everything. Oh, for real? Yeah. It's even got Matthew Lillard. You know, at Shaggy. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. Wait, zero, wait, wait, wait. Shaggy? You can play a Shaggy in a fight? Ultra Instinct Shaggy? No, you could do that. Yeah, that's the whole deal. What abilities would, would a character like that have, though? I mean, Super Sandwich Slam. <laughs> something crazy, you know. It's, there's a lot of different characters. What the fuck? If I get to walk around beating people with the sandwich, that's gonna be awesome. And there's bro. gonna be like OCs on the horizons and everything too. So, and Jason, I already know what they're gonna like make like the super moves or whatever with Jason Voorhees. His voice is all. <laughs> no, but here's the thing: like certain characters, Art. I feel like that they shouldn't do because Agent Smith from freaking what? The Matrix is gonna be in that. What? Too. Yes. Now right. that's badassery. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now that's badassery. If yeah. they put Neo and, J and, and and Agent Smith in there, that's they gonna be badassery. They brought back Mark Hamill as the Joker as well. So, like I said, yeah. They didn't even do that with fucking Injustice or with fucking or with Mortal Kombat. Who really voiced the Joker? I mean, I know Mark Hamill's been doing that for a while, you know. So. Well, in my opinion, the the top three Jokers of all time are definitely going to go to Cameron Mahogany. Oh yeah, Cam uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Cal Sestis. No. Cal uh, but really, yeah. where where is the poncho? Yeah. Where is the poncho? <laughs> he goes. Are you not entertained? He's all he's all wielding a lightsaber and stuff. Oh my god! Oh my gosh. I got to get into playing those those Jedi games because those are actually pretty. Are they good. on PS Five? 
they're available for purchase. I don't know if they're free. Not anymore. free, probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah say, the they're same always thing on. They're always on sale. Like for fifteen bucks, you get like the deluxe edition. Yeah, yeah I, I was so. gonna say if you have an EA membership, uh, an EA Plus membership, uh, it's on sale for like for like eight bucks. And they go on sale for they go on sale for gosh, I mean it's ridiculous. Like every like. Every like two weeks or something, it's like oh, all of a sudden, oh, 75, 80 percent. But here's the like, thing: what? I don't want to be paying twenty bucks for an additional EA membership if I can't play it for free. Mm -hmm. Like if I have EA, if I have the e, uh, the EA Plus membership, I have I have access to all these other you know games for free, but I don't have access to fucking Survivor, you know, or I mean not Survivor, uh, yeah, sur uh, mm -hmm. uh, Survivor, yeah, yeah. You want to give me a hand and help me out with this? Because, like I said, it's a lot of food. I'm basically filming a mukbang. I got freaking enchiladas right here. Jesus got, Christ, bro. I got grilled like grilled cheese sandwiches, and I got, like, I got Hawaiian, pizza? Hawaiian pizza, Canadian bacon, and pineapple. Oh, Bernie would, would kill that. Yeah, Bernie should. Bernie should be out here and kill that. She's taking a shower. Yeah, she likes wine. Me, uh... It's so, it's so cool that you got a woman in your life that's, you know... Yeah. That feels good. So, you know, personally, like I just prefer being with an older woman. And hey, man, up top, don't no, get it. You know, okay. not, but your your style of old is just too much, too far. Like if they're old enough to be my my uh, by the actual age of my own mother's, then that's just too far. You know, that's not really that far. Like, I, I, I enjoy being with a woman that could cook for me, that could clean for me, you know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It makes me feel like that, I, like, I'm the most important person in in their world at that moment, you know? Yeah. And that always feels good. Yeah, that's definitely, that must be bliss. That's the only downside to being a solo cholo is that you get lonely sometimes, you know? Yeah, but here's the thing, bro. You don't have to be lonely. Like, when, before I met Bernie, I was fucking lonely, you know? I felt lonely. Like, I felt like I didn't have anybody that I could talk to, anybody that I could hang out with. But, you know, <clears> like, all it took was some was some freaking good old-fashioned courage to actually go out and start talking to people. That was, like, the first time when I went out with Gloria Gaynor. At first, I was afraid. I was petrified. <laughs> like, I'm telling telling this from, from somebody who who has, uh, who has was who was literally diagnosed with antisocial anxiety. Okay, social anxiety. I yeah. Like, like, when Bernie first met me, like, I didn't want to fucking get out of the house, yo. Like, she would want to go out. Like, I didn't want to get out of the house out and everything. After five years of being together, she brought me out of my shell completely. Just like Obama's kids, I came out of Michelle. Don't, like, I wonder what I, I wonder why the fuck Obama doesn't try to rerun. Oh wait, isn't it like a law you there's, can't run for presidency? There's a limit on that. Yeah, because he already did like eight, like eight FDR years. Because FDR served like four four terms, you know. So yeah, he died on his fourth term, and that's when they drew a line. It's like no, two maximum. Two max. <laughs> yeah, two maximum. Yeah. Besides, I don't want to be reelected. Yeah, anyway. But you can guarantee though, if he was coming back in. Nobody would be voting for Trump. I'm sorry. I, mean, I got respect for Trump and everything, but nobody would be voting for him. Yeah, give brothers money and all of a sudden... For you're real. Out, you know what I mean? No, like I said, if I do... I don't want to talk about politics no, or anything of course like not. that. No, yeah. of course not. No, I don't want to bring politics yeah, into no. your show. No, we don't, we don't need to. We're not really... We're not really that... No, that's the crazy part, too, is that I just watched, you know... So here, they watch CNN. Up on the hill, they watch Fox News. And in my opinion, to me personally, it's just like slander television daily, you know, STD. And I, I don't like that stuff, you know? For real. It's infectious. Like, if I want to watch drama, I can watch MTV, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> or, or I can just sit around here or, on, on an off day, you know? Or ridiculousness. <laughs> For real, right? If I want to watch yeah. drama, like, I'm not going to watch the news or something yeah. like that. Slander television daily, because it's just, you know, that's what they do. They just sit there and they just trash talk the left and they bash the right and everything. And it's just... Who really cares, you know? What would be your idea on a perfect open world game? Yeah, One that hasn't been made yet. Ooh, an open world game? Yeah, I, like, I fucking, I don't know about you, but I love open world games. It makes me, it, it, it's very, um, ah, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, very integrating. Like, it pulls you in. Oh, I'll, I'll answer that. 
there was this guy named Joseph who's on Facebook. He does like this thing where he goes on these, and he kind of goes on like all these comedic rants or whatever. He's he's recently been talking about the whole the whole beef between Kendrick Lamar and uh and uh and Drake and everything. But he's talking about Grand Theft Auto Six. He's like, I should be able to walk into any building anywhere in any place at any time, you know, because <laughs> that's how highly expected that game is, you know. Well, yeah, there's a lot of expectations for Grand Theft Auto Six. It hasn't even been released yet, huh? God, uh, freaking twerking in the trailer. I was like, sign me up, bro. Joking. <laughs> <laughs> <Twerk. laughs> okay. No, you ever saw? You ever saw? You ever you saw? Bro, you, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I was yeah. gonna say, you ever seen Nicki Minaj in fucking Warzone? Yeah, I know. All you see is a big ass blob of pink running around, literally. <laughs> her and her. Literally, it's fucking funny. Her and her. Uh, her and her RSO husband. RSO. Registered sex offender. Oh shit. Yeah. That's the thing. I was like, I thought people would get rid of her. Like, you know what I mean? No, I still see that character skin running around. Yeah, she still, like I said, still plagiarizes Biggie to this day. And, and what's funny about it is that I, I have, I have enough, uh, I have enough co uh, COD credits to fucking purchase that skin and purchase a shit ton of other skins. But they're not like, like fucking Dune. What, what the fuck is Dune? What the fuck is this movie called Dune? Oh, it's a desert movie. Yeah, like, I know. It's a fucking desert movie. If I, I want to watch a desert movie, I could just watch fucking A, a New Hope. Or Mad Max. You could do or that. Or Mad too. Max. Yeah, exactly. Did you see Furiosa yet? I've seen the trailers. Because that, um, that, that was going neck and neck with Garfield at one point when it came out. You know, it's the same thing with Barbenheimer. it's already out? With Barbenheimer and then Saw Patrol. Yeah, yeah, they've been out, yeah. I, I, I thought you were talking about the new Mad Max movie that's being released. Well, it is. It's kind of like, like a prequel before Mad Max Fury Road. See, it's, and it's going to sound weird to me, but I feel like that movie's like that, where the franchise began in the 80s. Bringing it, rehashing it is like, eh. That's like re that's like reheating cold French fries, you know. Exactly. Yeah, like, yeah it's... like Disney did it with Star Wars. It was like, bro, like <laughs> if we, if we want to see a Star Wars movie, we don't want to see one that that's being brought back uh, as a continuation from a franchise that we thought was already done. You know. Go see Wonka. I don't want to see Wonka. Me too. I don't want to see the new Wonka. Why am I? Why do I want to see Wonka when he was a kid? When the Wonka that I'm familiar with, yeah, was a grown ass adult. You know, it's like it's like nobody is familiar with this version. Why are you trying to rehash something that 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 won't make any sense to the but, population? But it's like Assassin's Creed, though, wasn't it? Exactly. That, that That's was, why. I, that is why. That it, was on point until it went to Odyssey, and it's like oh. Yeah, that is I why that. I did not like Odyssey. That is why I did not like Origins. That is why I did not like uh, Valhalla, uh, because they they were they were trying to rehash the past, and it's like this is a past that nobody even fucking heard of. <laughs> okay. This is a pat. This is this is a history story that nobody e even heard of. Yeah. And you're just trying to bring it up like it's something that was always a part of the franchise. Cause it good. No okay. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> Jesus. They're they're trying to act like it's something that that oh it's always been there. We're just making it, but we're just making it into into oh, being. Okay, but defend Joker then. But here's the thing, everyone er, everyone who knows anything about the DC comics will, will tell you that that, ver, that that version of the Joker isn't even really you know supposed to be the Joker. Well, you're talking about Joaquin Phoenix, right? Yeah, Joaquin Phoenix. It, 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 you can. No, I'm Every, saying everyone, like even the comic books creators, can say a character that, before his villain, his villain arc. But here's the thing: before all that, the 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 creators who made Joker made him without a backstory. But then the whole idea of the multiverse came into being. Do you get what I'm saying? So that the Joker can be excused because, for all we know, he's from a different multiverse. He's from a different universe. Spoiler alert for Mortal Kombat but, One. But if things you didn't like play Wonka. It. But things like Wonka, where's the multiverse story for that? Before they came out with with the walking for, uh, <clears throat> uh, version of Joker, at least DC made it clear with their comic books that there is a multiverse, that there's going to be other you know versions of the characters that people are already familiar with. Well, there's there's many different timelines and different dimensions that they're pulled from, you know. Like even, exactly. Like, yeah, 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 that's yeah, that's. But but the original Joker that came into being from the comic books, they created him without a backstory. They created him so that he would literally be the embodiment of chaos. 
chaos is unknown. No, he's he's the spiral into madness. Once he had the revelation that his his mother, quote unquote, was actually just you know a, a mental health patient. Yes, and yes. No wonder they freak. No wonder he freaking smothered her and everything. You know. But but see but see a lot of a, a lot of the people they were pissed off about this Joker. Right, they were pissed off about it because they were like, "This is not the Joker. The Joker has no backstory with his mother, and if anything, they should have made it with this with his wife or whatever, like they did in the animated series." No, man, like there have in DC universe, there has always been a multiverse. So for all we know, that Joker could be from a whole another universe, and you know, you're not even aware of it. But with Wonka and with the Assassin's Creed franchise, they make no mention of there being alternate realities and shit. You know. I just, I, you know, it's just, don't, the South Park kind of brought, uh, brought it up as an issue, you know, in one of their, in like, a two-part episode. Oh, they're doing the whole thing on, on obesity, they're doing that, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually, I'm I, I'm actually looking forward to its release. Yeah. I'm always looking forward to a South Park release, but I yeah, just, but... I just feel like that they've been focusing more on the games, you know? Then they happen on television production, which is okay. Well, which is, ga well, games alone are few and far between because those are, you know, like I said. Yeah. But with Snow Day, like, they, they spent a lot of time, you know, putting that into being. And it, apparently it's been getting a lot of fucking negative feedback. Like, a lot. Like, See, to me, I don't really call a game bad unless, you know, it's broken. For, it's I mean, God, Action 52. Remember there was a contest where you can win like $100,000 if you get to level 6 on that? It was programmed so poorly that the whole the, that, that game, when it was selected, would crash after level 2. Leaving it impossible for somebody to even complete level 6. So, I've never heard of this game, but... Action 52, you never heard of it? Mm -mm. It's a multi-cartridge game. Where it had 52 games in one where it was all carbon copy... It was all carbon copy paste. Oh, shit? Yeah, it was, it was, it was that terribly made. It was terrible. It was terrible, and, you know, they people actually shelled out money for it. Oh, my God. That's ridiculous. You know what I mean? Because it's like four four levels are unaccounted for, you know? Oh, shit. See, that's for me, you know, for me personally. Like, I don't mind Donkey Kong 64. That's a huge example. Some of those some of those collectibles are so rare and very hard to get, where they take way too long, you know? And um, I don't mind going through all those worlds and collecting all that stuff all over again. I don't mind switching out the Kongs. From time to time, you know, whenever you go to tag barrels, I don't, I don't care about all that. If it works, it functions, and I can play it and beat it slash complete it, I'll do that. So, yeah, I haven't tried Snow Day yet, but uh, mostly because it's not free to play. They got demos though. Uh, on the video, yes, I did play the demo, but I didn't. I, I like it, it was real. Oh, I tried to play the play the demo, but it was um very glitchy. Like in the in, in the startup screen, it was very glitchy. So I, I gotta I got I gotta play I, I don't know I gotta play the demo for Sandland to see if I enjoyed it because that's Akira Toriyama Sama's like last uh that was his last video game project before he passed away by the way. So I definitely gotta check that out. But that's the thing with demos as well. Like I'm I'm buying games that get like real too much hate. I mean God forgive me about this. Okay, I spent money on a full game called. Lady in a leotard with a gun. I'm not even joking. <laughs> what the fuck? Lady in a leotard with a gun. I actually have that. So, <coughs> I signed up for the demo <coughs> on GeoForce, <coughs> or NVIDIA promised uh, that you'd be able that every uh, that people who sign up for the demo for the Steam version of. Uh, what was the name of that shit? Uh, that uh, that open world uh, shooting game that they recently came out with. Is it another Ghost Recon game? No, 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 no. Uh, it's supposed to be like Call of Duty and okay. and uh, Xfinity or uh, what's that one? X uh, the new shooting game. X Defiant. X Defiant. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Um. I didn't pre-order it. This was just all news to me. I'm just, you know... I, hey, it. I got it right here. I got it right here. But Steam won't allow you to play it unless you purchase... It won't allow you to play the uh, demo version, which is kind of fucking like... I feel like it's kind of like false advertising, you know? 
It's false advertising if you can't play it. Yeah, you know, like they won't let you play it unless you have an actual PC and whatnot. And you, uh, uh, they uh, like if I'm playing on cloud, if I'm pl because in order to enter the the PC, uh, uh, in order to enter Steam, uh, the Steam Cloud game, right, mm -hmm. gaming, you have to uh, enter it through Nvidia GeForce, right, mm -hmm. and. It kind of sucks because, uh, uh, like, let's just say you want to. Let's just say I want to play Warzone, right? Warzone's only capable. Uh, I'm only. Uh, see, Xbox they don't even have uh, 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 Warzone made playable unless you have a console. I, I remember slash still hate that, but to this day, like, like, like you can like, I, I, I could play Warzone whenever I want, but I would like to be able to play Warzone. On like a, on like Microsoft ser servers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't stand playing it on PC servers. I just can't. Yeah. And I'm forced to play on PC servers unless, of course, I'm using a VPN. But then using a VPN always fucking you know there's always trouble with using VPN. It's not always reliable. Though, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, at least with the VPN, I I could you know. I could uh, play on a different on, on a on a non PC server. I finally played Warzone, and I was like, I didn't know what what ninety Did you play gig. On PS4? I didn't know what ninety gigs was. Yeah, I bought it. I didn't oh. really buy it, but I kind of downloaded Wait, it for you free. You had to buy it. The battle royale is free. Yeah, I was gonna say. The war, like, Warzone you have had is to free. Buy it. Yeah. Hey, babe, you want some of this pizza that he has? No, I think. Footy tap. No. I... Dude, is, um, I think uh, Tweety and Sylvester will probably be playable eventually. I don't know. They're... That'd be cool. That'd be pretty badass if, if, if Tweety's made it play, playable. Because uh, I remember in Space Jam, remember Space Jam? She, uh, Tweety straight up whooped the shit out of those monsters. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely like uh, Lola Bunny, though. Let's talk about it. Oh, my God, don't. <laughs> Dude, you know what? I'm, I'm, you know, I give, I give a lot of people flack for how, you know, they really downgraded Lola Bunny. It's the same way that they did Sonya Blade in Mortal Kombat. Oh. Like Mortal Kombat onwards, like I don't know what it is. They're water physics or something. Where like if she gets knocked down, you know, it jiggles. And I was just like, holy crow, like, holy crow, like you know, it's just too much, too much water physics. I'm saying water physics because you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just you know. <coughs> so she gets uppercut and she goes down, but you can literally see the jiggle boob physics. What game would you say has the best graphics? Graphic wise? Graphic wise, yes. <coughs> Talking about graphics where you at where it actually felt I don't, like I don't wanna... too real. Okay. This may seem like a huge stretch. Biomutant. Never heard of it. Biomutant is a hack and slash RPG in a post a post apocalyptic First world. First person, third person? Third person, yeah. Third person? Yeah. Open world or just yeah zone? open open world and if you put the settings out to sixty frames per second oh my goodness like you, For real? you blink and it's like a blur. What platform PC? Uh, Sounds like something I they actually just PC. recently released it on the Nintendo Switch, but it was also available on PlayStation and Xbox, I think. But not not for free probably. Like fifteen bucks at most, but that's a small price to pay, you know. What year did this come out? Two thousand twenty-two, I believe. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, so it's one of those. It's it's a capable game. Yeah, it's really, it's a really, really good game too. It doesn't take that much memory at all. It takes like what twelve gigs at maximum. Huh. I bought the mercenary on mercenary bundle on sale for like fifteen bucks. Hack and slash, you say? Yeah, it's a hack and slash role playing game. You know what? For me, you travel to different biomes, and obviously the game just looks beautiful, dude. It does. You know, what? for me, I'm, I, I think I'm gonna have to give it to, uh, to fucking the the newest Wolfenstein. So far, that that's had the most surreal graphic. I'm like, have you played Wolfenstein series? I mean, I played the Spider-Man games, and those games themselves are pretty beautiful. The Insomniac games, they're no joke, dude. They just they look beautiful. Oh my yeah. gosh! But you've Massive. never played Wolfenstein, huh? I was I even born when Wolfenstein came out. I'm talking about uh, uh, Wolfen the Wolfenstein New Order, bro. Oh yeah, definitely. Fuck, man! Like, like the when, when 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 the Nazis started bashing the uh, the the the, the uh, what, uh the lady skull in the beginning, like that shit just 
I felt like I was sitting right there, like yeah. next to Blackovich, you know, like just watching. Like the BJ. Yeah, just fucking just watching it happen. Like his name's BJ. I'm not, say, I'm not saying I'm not. I'm not. Hey, bro, you gotta admit, uh, when it comes to characters with a fucked up backstory, his fucking is up there. His is fucking up there, bro. In terms of fucked up backstories. Yeah, the Doom Slayer. He had a tragic thing. He was John Wick before there was John Wick. For real, for real. So you know how you know how um, so you know how in John Wick, you know, in the very first one, he gets freaking. During an in-home robbery, I guess they just up and kill his dog, and it was like his dying wife. I death. never understood why though. Why the dog? Why what? What was the purpose of the of the dog? I mean, John Wick was asleep. You could have killed John Wick, but no, you you had to kill the dog. I mean, to be honest, I, I'm a I I, I I love Keanu Reeves. I, I love uh, Keanu Reeves. I love his movies. But I did not like John Wick because it just made it made the whole thing petty. No, you want to talk about petty? I mean, the Doom Slayer, who originally was known as Doom Guy, he was all freaking. He went on a he went on a killing spree because they literally killed his 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 rabbit Daisy, his pet rabbit. He did he did not need much. It's kind of like it's kind of like Stewie or whatever when. Was he dating Olivia or like a different chick or something? Oh, uh, uh, a Euro, a Euro trash chick that was just like, yeah, kind of like low key a terrorist. Let's be real; she was like a menace to society. Oh, you're talking about that? Uh, no, the other one. Not not that. But Olivia was like the child actress that she, he was with. She goes, she goes, dear Olivia, up yours. And then all of a sudden, nukes are just you know blowing off in the Middle East. He's like, wow, they did not. I know. Much. Right. That's what I'm saying, though. It's the same thing with Doom Slayer. You know, it's the same deal. It's like Jesus Christ, like a pet rabbit. Like that's really the reason why you kill people like that. I'm thinking about maybe uh, maybe playing Gears Gears of War again. Damn, if you need a co-op partner, I am 100% down with it. Cause yeah, like I but said, you don't have Xbox. Doesn't matter. But how could you play if you, if you don't have Xbox? I'm gonna get a Series X. But you've been talking about getting a Series X for for months now. I know. I'm still working on it. This thing takes time. It'll take a year, but eventually I'll get there. It's the same thing with the PlayStation Five. I didn't own it for like four years until I finally bought it myself, so. Yeah, but the PS5, everybody wanted that apparently. I don't understand. I don't understand why. But you realize that eventually all those consoles, they're going to be obsolete. Not really, though. Xbox is already coming out. It's already <coughs> supposed to be coming out by, by the beginning of next year with their own held, uh, handheld you. Xbox. God, it's so cold out here. They're gonna have their own handheld Xbox. Remember when PlayStation had the PSP? Yeah, it's gonna be like it's gonna be a, a, a handheld Xbox, bro. Well, technically, the Game Boy came out and that basically, you know, changed it. You know, I think Sony was doing it for like Sony was, you know, behind by like 15 years, but mm. yeah, as far as portability works. I remember my first PSP. I had the one with Darth Vader on the back. I feel like that's akin to first beer. No. I know, right? It, it was a it was a white PSP, uh, and it had the Darth Vader. It was the Star Wars Battle uh, original uh, Battlefront Two edition. I bought the Battlefront Two one for the PlayStation Four Pro. So I, I get it. I get it. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, the original? The PlayStation Four Pro with a copy of Battlefront Two. All right, but which Battlefront Two are you talking about? The two thousand eighteen, two thousand seventeen, or two thousand? Or 2006. This, this was late 2017. It was like towards like maybe like towards the fall of 2017. They had the uh, sorry, hold on. Is it is it the uh, because there was two there was Battlefront. Excuse me, thank you. There was Battlefront and then Battlefront Two. Yeah, it was Battlefront Two 2017. Yeah, and they finally put out the and then they came out with the celebration they edition. With, they came out with a PlayStation Four Pro model. And it was the print of the whole, you know, the whole order. Not the order, but the Empire and stuff like that. You mm -hmm. know, that type of design or whatever on it. See, that's one of those games that I actually would so want to play. On, got better uh, with time. It did. It, it, it did get better with time. But then, e, like I said, EA dropped it and DICE picked it up. And DICE doesn't do shit when it comes to making updates. And, like, we're no one's to see a uh, single... There's not going to be a single update. However... Some PC modders, they, they took it upon themselves, right? 
to uh, make their own server or make their um, uh, make their own development server for Battlefront 2 and they come out with updates at least like once every two months character mods uh, all that shit the only downside is that it's only available on PC Got like that. it's it's literally it's own Battlefront 2 game it's it, it's in the it's in Star Wars Battlefront 2 uh, if you go on uh, 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 online and you type in Battlefront 2 for PC, there'll be Battlefront 2 for PlayStation 4 or Battlefront 2 for Xbox One. And yeah, then there'll be to, Battlefront 2 for PC. They need a modern upgrade, though. They like on to. Steam or something like that. Like, it's it's there on Steam. It's on Steam. Yeah. And it's like like 400 like gigs yeah. to download on Steam. God, I miss I miss live streaming on Twitch. Because I had a clip where I, I swapped a whole squad of PC players using only traps. It was great. It See, was I'm beautiful. not saying PC players are invincible. But they're I not. Am, they're not infallible, dude. They're not. I, I'm, I'm the answer to oh, that. Oh fuck no! I'll fuck tell you no. flat no, out. Yeah. I'll tell you straight up too. Like, like they, they are not invincible. It, it, you, in order to beat somebody with higher capabilities for you, you need to have higher capability skills. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could have the most advanced fucking you know system mm -hmm. made available to mankind, and somebody on the lowest mod. Can can still fucking you know show them what's up and what you just said is like a perfect like technique, you know. A lot of PC players they're not they are not skilled, they are not skilled whatsoever. Of course not. They 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 really fucking aren't. Yeah. They have zero to like minimal skill. The only advantage that they have is the fact that they can click with a mouse. I'm like ooh wow. And whereas, whereas a console player, and, 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 oh my fucking god, why do PC players say that console players have a bigger advantage? Why we do it? not, bro. Yeah. <laughs> we do not. We are, we are confined to one LAN system, bro. Whereas you, you can run off of four different, four different Wi-Fi points all at the same time. Don't, do not say that us console systems have a higher advantage. Hell, we don't have Valorant. Exactly! Like, like, do not say that we have a higher advantage. PC bench. gamers we have literally, it so All rough. it takes is for you to, like, you don't even have to point. That's the worst part about it, bro. You don't even have to point at, at a person. You can just click it and it shoots. Click it and shoots at it. Click goodness, it and shoots. Goodness gracious, when Easy comes over, that's going to be a huge... Oh, I've told... I've, bro, I've told, I've told Abraham... We're like, not even bro, doing the whole, you know, we're not even going to do the whole superiority type deal. It's like, when we're talking about PC, it's like, yeah, but we're simpletons, you know? Graphics are better. Frame rate per seconds are always going to be better. You put a round peg into a square hole. That's really all it is. That's the simplicity is what it is. You, yeah. Like, PC players cannot say that console players have an advantage. It, 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 the only advantage that a console player would have over a PC player is skills of that particular game. Connection. Uh, a connection's always going to be better with PC. A, a sturdy connection, yeah. Uh, a but connection... Like, Unless we're talking about a uh, WLAN connection. Yeah. Like, I can tell you firsthand, if you're connected if you're connected via WLAN... The only difference between me and <laughs> all these other players online is because, you know, they had they, they didn't have a network connection. I mean, I didn't have a good network connection. Uh, a, a WLAN connection's always going to be more improved than a wireless connection yeah. because, I mean, you know... Infinite times better. Exactly. But the only downside is, like, for me, I'm a cloud player right now. Okay. As of right now, you know, so I can't use WLAN. What, what's making Mortal Kombat 1, but getting the Platinum Trophy for me is a huge issue? For me, is that they're all online trophies. That's what's, that's what's tripping um, me up. Yeah, yeah, dude. I'm at, like, 40, I'm like, no, is it 40? But see, 40? That's, the, that's the disadvantage of being, of being with uh, Sony, because with uh, Xbox... <coughs> The, all of their, all of their, uh, tr uh, all of the trophies and all the accomplishments and achievements that are integrated with all the games are also synchronized with, uh, my, with, with your Microsoft account. They're so all... you don't need to be online to collect your uh, trophies, especially if it's a game, because if uh, uh, it in... automatically unlocks. I logged into Fortnite, and I think like at least twenty five out of the. What, how many are there? Like 44, 64? There's a lot of trophies in Fortnite. Not a whole lot, though. You think that's bad? Tomb Raider, that whole remastered collection? Uh, I'm that not even going to get into that. That Tomb Raider trilogy has like I mean, 291 trophies. I, I was like, yeah, it's it too much. I see it just released, uh, and it's always in my queue, like, uh, you uh, you might enjoy playing Tomb Raider. And it's like, no, I didn't even enjoy playing Tomb Raider when it was out in, in the 1990s. 
Just give it like modern controls and it'll be good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Still. If I have to play like if I have to play like with tank like controls, I'm I don't know if it makes up. me sexist. I've just never been into the whole uh being being a fe uh, it, that's just my preference, you know, being a female uh uh antagonist, player antagonist. I don't know if that makes me a sexist. In the context of Wolfenstein? But in Wolfenstein, you weren't a, you the 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 main antagonist was not a female. I'm moving that out of the way. It wasn't a female, but I'm t I like that's one of the that's actually the biggest reason why I didn't really enjoy playing uh, Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey because I just felt like that that uh, Alexandria. Was way more of a badass than fucking... Oh, Cassandra. Cassandra, yeah. Was way more of a badass than Alexios. Alexios, yes. You know, like, in terms of, like, fighting skills and whatnot, Cassandra was way more of a badass. Cassandra and I is hated, badass. I hated having to do, like, to to admit that for some reason. Is she a badass bitch? I'm I sorry. Think, I'm allowed to say I, that. Can I, I, think, I say that? I think I'm a sexist. No, it's not sexist at all. I, I think I'm a sexist, bro. I think I... I think... Oh, because like, I, like. No, I'll tell you one thing. Females do have a. a hey, stop being paranoid about the planes. They, they don't. They don't care about you. They have a huge advantage, though. What I'll say, they definitely have a huge advantage, especially in terms of hit boxes and everything. You know what? I don't care. I got the munchies. I, I, forgive me, uh, my inner child. Yeah, go ahead. Help yourself. Like I said, I got freaking six pieces to kill. Yeah, when it comes when it comes to like female skins, why do you think the streamers have like female skins? Everyone from freaking Nick Merckx to Ninja, freaking you know, even Tim the t not even Tim the Tatman, but like freaking um. That's why I like about Tim because Tim usually when he live streams or whatever, he does it with like you know male skins, like skins that he owns and stuff like that. But the but the huge the huge advantage that the females that the why they choose the female skins is because it's like smaller hit boxes. Hmm. Did I tell you what happened two days ago? I got my first kills on two major live streamers in Warzone. So overall, you think things are doing okay? Hmm. Well, when it comes to live streaming and stuff like that, like. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. But I got my two first major kills on two live streamers that I've been trying to target lately. Doctor disrespect. Oh, Doc. I got... I killed him. I right feel now. like... I don't really want to start no YouTube beef or nothing. And, uh... And then, uh... And, uh... Two, two cans. Yeah. Like I said, I don't mean any... Fuck that dude's annoying voice. I don't mean any disrespect to Doc, but... Dude, and... Nah, Doc is awesome! Yeah. No, I'm just saying, like, he's... I'm just saying he's a, he's a hard-ass motherfucker to kill. <laughs> but I got him. Yeah. Yeah, like I mean, I think X Defiant was kind of is kind of like for him. That's kind of like his specialty and everything. Yeah, you know? I, I, I dread I dread going into that. Hell, that's that's there's no, there's no problem with choking under pressure. I'm like less than three months in when I'm playing Fortnite. This is chapter one, season four. We were in a final a final game. It was two squads, myself and Nick A Thirties, and he crop dusted us. He killed mm. all of us. I think it was last person standing, but still. Like I said, you know, there's no reason not Does to. Does Fortnite have a first-person shooter mode? I don't That's what I'm curious about. I think they're available in... When they create different, like, game modes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They made, like, a Nuketown map. And then they do the whole... You know what's insane is, for me, uh, in Apex Legends, there's this mode called Gun Run. Where basically, you know, it's. Hey, you want some pizza? Can I take one for later? Whatever you want to do. Like I said, I got six pieces, so. Yeah, I'll take one for later. Gosh, a mukbang. Dude, I'm about to flatline immediately because my heart is like... Mind if I grab one more? Yeah, go ahead. Sharing is caring. Yeah. So, you said... The Game Pass and Call of Duty news you wanted to share? Mm. So, these are the titles that are confirmed via leakage to be made available on Game Pass. 
the whole black op, uh, whole black ops series. Like I said, this is speculation. This isn't confirmed yet, so don't. Oh, know. oh, mm, that's good bro. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. That's a good burn. I'll show you. I'll show you the. It's got to be a full list, though, right? It's got to be like a list of you know. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long, long time. time so we're talking coming. the whole black ops franchise, and modern uh, the modern warfare. The first, the, like the first two at least, and there, uh, there is a possibility of Ghost being uh, the Ghost series mm -hmm. coming in a little later, like in a couple months. Yeah, they're gonna want, they're gonna want to bring Ghosts and Advanced Warfare back and everything. Mm. Advanced Warfare, that's another one. Yeah. So, so when you want to get confirmed, and I know it's confirmed. Okay. Because. Uh, it's advertised in Warzone. Okay. For June 9th. June 9th. It's literally advertised in the HQ. The moment you log in. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, home screen of COD HQ. Mm hmm It pops up as breaking news. Okay. I can confirm. You want to get that? Activision themselves are confirming it. You want to get a match or two in on Mortal Kombat? Not really. Oh, damn. They added Omni, Omni Man and Peacemaker. <laughs> like I said, bro, I'm not a fan of PlayStation. PlayStation okay. controllers. Fair enough. You're talking to somebody who's just become so used to Xbox controller. Yeah, it's the same thing with PlayStation. Like, I just can't get used to it. Yeah, I know. I would have to, like, have my own system and, like, be playing on that regularly to get used to it. It's got crossplay, so if you want to get down on that, you can do that. I just, you know, I just, I just pre-ordered Shang Tsung, so the sooner I can do that, the sooner I can. There's only like four trophies I'm missing now, you know, including the platinum itself. So that's like you can't play against a computer player and get those trophies. Yeah, but it's done on a certain time. It's only like available for like two or three days, and then it's gone for I feel like the rest of the season, really. Because all I need to do is I need to vanquish. I need to and with the vanquish that trophy. You're I need just to, trying to get a trophy, right? Why don't you have Zach do it? He's a he's a PlayStation player. If you're just trying to get the trophies, can you play Mortal Kombat though? Huh? Is he skilled enough to play Mortal Kombat? But though? the trophies are for him. They're for you. They are for me. So why don't you just? Yeah, because I can't do the whole electric fly and that type deal as Raiden to try to avoid damage. Cause I always get hit just with Just tell those. him to go easy on, on it. So just tell him, like, look, I just, I'm just trying to get these. I've done this multiple times in the past, bro, when I was trying to get achievements. I just, I, I would log on with a friend and boom, shit a lot. Just do it, just do it, you know. I, I tell him, like, just don't even do anything, bro. I just require it to be online, you know. You know what I'm saying? And boom. It's the fastest way to get a trophy in any in any platform. Mm, fuck a sec, I was doing that specifically. What game was I doing that for? I'm gonna try to get all the characters in max rank now, because now that I've already have strength song, I think it should be easy for me to just, you know, log in and get max rank. So <clears throat> I have to get Max rank with five cameo characters. Beat the final boss on invasions. Complete a titan battle and then the platinum. That's all I need to do. So. But freaking 170 gigabytes? Damn, dude. I'm feeling it. <laughs> it's just, yeah. And your, your PlayStation is just like a one terabyte system? Yeah, only one terabyte system, yeah. There's a memory, there's a, there's a different, like, a different hard drive that you can purchase. I guess, like, another, like, one or two terabytes or something. It's gotta be. I don't get what the point, like, see, with Xbox, you have the option to do either you download do, the game or not. Do you or do you not want to be a part of the CIA? <laughs> like, like, can you, on PlayStation, can you download the game, or can you not download the game and still play it online? In theory, yes, if you have the space for it. So wait, it relies on space to not download it in order to play it online? 
Because that's what that would be the difference between Xbox and PlayStation. Well, what on Xbox? What game are we talking about, though? Is what I'm asking. Any game. Any game. Any game. On Xbox, uh, as long as you as long as you have purchased the game, yeah. you don't have to download it, and it does not require it does not go based on your connection, and it does not go based on the storage that you have on your device. Well, well don't you own those games for life, though? Is what I'm asking. Because yes. I own like over a thousand of them. So yes, but. Uh, the, the I've seen a bigger advantage on PlayStation uh, that over Xbox is on Xbox you can't you know re, you can't get a refund. Well, that's the huge difference is that you know once you buy it, it's yours to keep. So. But on PlayStation, you can you can get a refund, right? No. For your digital games, some of them offer refunds, but I returned it only one time and I regretted it. It's Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. Yeah, I requested a refund on that. Yeah. Oh, uh, they gave it to you? Like 10 days after launch, and they gave, yeah, they granted it to me, and I got that money back, but... See, I should have kept it, you know? I'm just one of those... You know, I think I think in, in terms of price, too, everything's more expensive with Xbox. Oh, I know, right? Freaking Ubisoft. Fucking control. You're, you're not in the clear on this one, because... A fucking, a fucking game... Cost sixty fucking no, a fucking game. It's more expensive to purchase Modern Warfare Three on Xbox than it is anywhere else. Literally, on PlayStation they got the they got the uh, cross gen version mm -hmm. for like forty five dollars, and on Xbox it's sitting there for like sixty nine dollars or uh, sixty nine ninety nine, and then you have it all the way on here at BattleNet for the same price that PlayStation's selling you for. Even though BattleNet has no fucking contract with PlayStation. They have a contract with Steam and with Xbox. And Ubisoft. Oh, yeah, and I have to crucify... I'm not really going to crucify you for this, obviously, because when you're pricing it as high as 130 bucks for a complete game, that's like a huge waste of time, in my opinion. Uh, how much... Uh, are, we, are we just about done with this with the show? Why? What are you planning to do? No, uh, just go back inside. Well, you can do that. I'll, I'll wrap it up here. How much time is there left on it? As much memory oh, as Oh, you're it on takes. video, huh? Yeah, I'm on video. Yeah, I don't do the whole podcast thing. We decided to change up this format because, you know, Spotify podcasters, I guess that thing's not working well for us, so. Well, it's just like the uh, another patch update for the new season. It's supposed to end, like... I'm definitely going to log in and get some Fortnite games in or something. Because they just, you know, launched the new, uh... <laughs> Ended four minutes ago. Ooh. And I, ca I kind of like being one of the first people to log in on the server. Because uh, then the server's not as, you know, sweaty. Yeah, go do what you want to do, man. <laughs> oh, man. I'll hold down the port here, I guess. I don't mind it. Uh, you want to go back in, babe? Or you can stay out here? So if you want to get on multiverse, just let me know. Bro, in, in a couple, I, I do want to try out this multiverse game. It looks fucking fun. It, it looks, doesn't even look badass. It just looks fun, you know. Mm -hmm. It looks like something that would just be enjoyable to just about damn near everyone. Yeah. I mean, if it has everything in it that it's, everyone likes, like that plays a Star Wars character. In it. It's got local play. I don't really know anything about Star Wars, but like I said, anything Warner Brothers, like you know. Oh, oh, it's just Warner Brothers. Are you? Oh, but DC. And, yeah, there you DC go. I can play, yeah, if I can yeah. play as the motherfucking Joker in it, bro. I, yeah, yeah. I, I can do it. I'll play. I will play if I can play as the Joker and just like whoop on people. You know, it, like I, I like. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely play. And you know what? I actually think I saw some rumors that's gonna be made available on the on uh you know on the show on the Xbox showcase for Game Pass. So yeah, if so you want, I'll if be you, able to play for free. If you wanna log in, let me know. Give it a try, see if you like it. Just give me a heads up. Yeah, no problem, I guess. Right, bro, I'll talk to you later. Yeah. One is the I don't really feel the need to defend a tier list, because I mean but you know. So for those of you who are dying to know why would you put freaking 2K24 at S tier? Very simple, because that's what this podcast is not. This episode of Arcade Mode is not possible without WWE 2K24. With the ECW Punk Pack available now, you have different access to different DLC characters known as the Dudley Boys. 
the Sandman, Terry Funk, and CM Punk, who just returned, I think, November of last year. So, like I said, CM Punk has always been a draw everywhere he goes. Wherever he goes, wherever he does, it's, you know, he's been dominating that. So, yeah. You know, purchase that pack and get CM Punk now. It also added a, it also had a different, um, different weapons that are available in the game. Things such as doors and light tubes, which are huge game changers. So that takes me back to my backyard wrestling days. Back when I was a, gosh, I've been in this wrestling business, what, 10, 10 years, give or take? You know, so... Go check out WWE 2K24. They also got a story mode, not to mention the not to mention the My Rise, which we'll talk about that later. But it also includes a showcase mode on 40 years of WrestleMania, where it goes through the highlights, you know, from Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant battling each other at WrestleMania 3, all the way to the Macho Man Randy Savage and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat for the Intercontinental Title. I think that happened on the same day. It's still lauded as one of the greatest wrestling matches of all time. And then even as far, you know, even as far into, you know, you know, sort of modern era where it was the heist of the century where Seth Rollins had cashed in and made a triple threat against Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns before he was known as the Tribal Chief. So yeah, do yourself a favor and go uh, take a peek at what WWE 2K24 has to offer. Because believe me, I'm definitely going to put some content up like that on my channel. But if we're, doing, we're going straight and defending the tier list, right? There was this one guy, I don't know what he was, some culero. I don't really remember his name. I don't really need to know his name. It says something along the lines of, uh, oh, yeah, well, Ubisoft is at A. I mean, you know, Skull and Bones, and, you know, it's really just kind of like more like a third strike because it's not really a strike because they're a company. They're a video game company. They're too big to fail. But, you know, a lot of things have fallen by the wayside. Skull and Bones is definitely not, you know, Skull and Bones is definitely not Sea of Thieves. Though it kind of opens the floodgates, I believe, to these games that were huge successes that are finally going over to the PlayStation. It feels kind of weird to think about that, but but before doing before doing X Defiant, which I'm going to try out later tonight, also, you know, it's just with Hyperscape, you know, it's like the lack of support and everything, but like after like after like an hour, I got tired of Hyperscape, and you can't play that game anymore. So, we are trying out X Defiant. I'll definitely give you like at least like a good. Am I gonna give you an hour of gameplay? Yeah, like roughly like an hour of gameplay. See how everything runs and everything. If it's cool, if it's decent, cool. We'll talk, like we'll definitely bring up the highlights and praise it. Or if not, you should skip it entirely. So, check that out for later. As you know, this this game is over because I need to head inside. I'm always the pizza getting cold, but, yeah, it's, you know, I got allergies, it happens. I will see you all later. Sayonara.